members of coalition of different society, civil society groups that have gathered here to address an issue that has become a burning contemporary issue in our country today. I have with me a speech that we prepared. Vote of confidence of the Nigerian judiciary. We are asking them they should be fair. We, we seek for fairness, equity, and justice. And what PDP has been doing, what they intend to do, is not the interest of the masses. We, the Nigerians, we, the people, we are saying fairness, truth, and justice. That is what we seek from the judiciary. They have been doing their best. Their best is best enough, but it is not yet best enough. We want the best for them. They are the hope of our democracy. The politicians, they have chosen one way or the other to bring themselves to the power. The judiciary is the last man standing. It is the only organ that can defend our democracy. Thank you very much. The point, uh, yeah, the, Dennis Momo is my name. Uh, the point to add is that uh, to say express our profound gratitude and appreciation to the esteemed justices of the appeal court. We come together on this momentous occasion to honor the justices' unwavering commitment to safeguarding the principles of justice, equity, fairness, and democracy in our beloved nation. Today we stand united to celebrate the triumph of the judiciary over the nefarious attempts by political parties to manipulate and undermine the rule of law. We are gathered here today for a very important purpose, to express our unwavering support for the judiciary, which is the cornerstone of our democracy. The judiciary has been under immense pressure in recent time, faking, facing accusation of bias and attempt to undermine its independence. However, we, the guardians of democracy, stand firm in our belief in the judiciary's ability to uphold the rule of law and deliver justice for all Nigerians. The essence of this assurance rally is to extend our heartfelt appreciation to the justices of the Court of Appeal who have valiantly stood up against the shenanigans perpetrated by agents of political parties. These agents have shamelessly tried to arm twist the judiciary into delivering judgments that conflict with the very foundations of our society. We firmly believe in the principles of equity, fairness and justice, and it is the duty of the judiciary to uphold these principles without compromise. It is worthy of note to state that the judiciary is the bedrock of any democracy. It is the branch of government that is starts with interpreting the law and ensuring that justice is served. Without an independent and impartial judiciary, there can be no democracy. In Nigeria today, the, ju the judiciary has always been playing a critical role in safeguarding our democracy, even in the face of immense challenges. In recent months, we have witnessed a disturbing trend of attempts to undermine the judiciary. The attempts have come from various quarters, including politicians and lawyers, and even members of the public. These individuals have sought to influence the judiciary its decision through intimidation, bribery, and even threats of violence. We must acknowledge the significance of this moment in our history. The recent events in Plateau State are a prime example of the attempt to undermine the judiciary. It is with great concern that we recognize Plateau State as the epicenter of a, of a disturbing trend. For the first time in our nation's history, politicians have gone to great lengths 
to sponsor individuals to march on the street protesting against the judiciary, which happens to be a shocking display of disrespect for the rule of law. This is an unfortunate and disheartening reality that we must confront. It is deeply troubling that only in Plateau State do we witness the sight of people insulting, abusing, and casting aspersions on the men and women who have dedicated their lives to the cause of democracy from the bench. We must not forget the sacrifices made by these noble individuals who have committed everything to the cause of our democracy. They have tirelessly and selflessly served our nation, ensuring that the principles of justice and fairness prevail. It is truly disheartening to witness the erosion of respect and appreciation for their invaluable contribution to our nation. We all, as the guardians of democracy, must come together to condemn such reckless behavior and stand as a united front against any attempt to undermine our judiciary. The guardians of democracy will not stand for such a blatant disregard for the judiciary. We are here today to send a clear and loud message of support to the judiciary. We believe in the judiciary's ability to uphold the rule of law and deliver justice for all Nigerians. We call on the judiciary to remain steadfast in its commitment to independence and impartiality. In the midst of these trying times, it is very unfortunate to discover that the PDP, the People's Democratic Party, has been fingered as the culprit and sponsor of this evil agenda against our judiciary. It is pitiable and regrettably painful knowing that a part that was once reputable will stoop so low to carry out such vices without reflecting on the impact of such actions on our political landscape. It is worth noting that the PDP, the party that has been most vocal in its criticism of the judiciary, is the same party that has also protest against the judiciary in the past. The PDP's hypocrisy is clear for all to see. They claim to support the judiciary, but their actions speak louder than words. However, in this moment, we extend a hand of solidarity and support to the affected judges. And we wish they understand that the stupidity carried out by our political party in order to destabilize our entire democratic system should not be misunderstood as a trending characteristic in every other political party. It is in times like this that we must rise above partisan divisions and unite for the greater good of our nation. While we appreciate the justices of the Court of, Court of Appeal for their unwavering commitment, we also wish to pass a resounding vote of confidence on the judiciary as a whole. We recognize the immense responsibility placed upon their shoulders and acknowledge that the decisions they make shape the course of our democracy. We implore them to remain steadfast in their pursuit of justice and to not waver in the face of external pressures. The guardians of democracy call on all Nigerians to join us in defending the judiciary. We must stand together to protect our democracy from those who seek to undermine it. We must not allow the judiciary to be politicized. We must ensure that the judiciary remains independent and impartial. We also call on the judiciary to, co to continue to uphold the highest standards of integrity and impartiality. The judiciary must be above reproach. The judiciary must earn and maintain the trust of the Nigerian people. As we conclude this assurance rally, let us remember that the trust of the masses is a sacred bond that must not be broken. The judiciary holds a position of immense power and influence and it is incumbent upon them to use this power judiciously and with integrity. We, the guardians of democracy, 
call upon the judiciary to continue safeguarding our nation's democracy, to uphold the principles of equity, fairness, and justice, and to never, for whatsoever reason, betray the trust bestowed upon by the masses. The judiciary is essential to our democracy. We must all do our part to protect it. We must stand together for justice, fairness, and the rule of law. Let us not allow those who should seek to undermine our democracy to succeed. In unity, we stand in democracy, we believe. And in the guardianship of our nation's democracy, we will persist. Let us remember that democracy cannot survive if it operators refuse to play by the rules and in the constitution. And those in authority continually conspire to survive the system, especially political parties. We must stand with our judiciary because truly they remain the last hope of the common man. Thank you very much. The movement of Nigeria on the attempts by the People's Democratic Party to wipe up religious sentiments on the outcome of the appeal court judgment in Plateau states. Nigerians must rise against attempts by Plateau PDP to make the appeal court justice and our judiciary. The Northern Christian Civil Rights Movement of Nigeria welcomes you all to this rally organized to put issues in proper perspective regarding the outcome of the, of the Court of Appeal rulings on the elections in Plateau State. Plateau State has suffered years of ethnic and religious conflicts, which politicians orchestrated mainly for their convenience. Ironically, this anomaly is gradually played out with the written stance of the People's Democratic Party. The most unfortunate that the PDP will elect to go low to the extent of crime world where none exists. Aside from the unsubstantiated position, it has attempted to wipe out religious sentiment with the potential of igniting conflict in the states. It is indeed a regime of blackmail and slander on the reputation of the justices of the Court of Appeal. The Northern Christian Civil Rights Movement of Nigeria front as such despicable conduct by the PDP. The attack on the reputation of justices of the Court of Appeal is playing politics too far. The relevant sections of the Constitution and the Electoral Act that inform the rulings were explicit. The Court of Appeal entertained submissions by both parties and certain relevant laws to back their position. Strangely, this fact has erroneously skipped some vested interests that they elected to true caution in the will, in the, in the, their, their trap against the justice of the Court of Appeal. Sadly, such a matter of sensitive nature is freely propagated by the PDP, not minding the consequences of their actions on the fragile peace on the state in Plateau. They have elected to turn their fantasy into reality and want to push it down our throat to swallow. The Northern Christian Civil Rights Movement of Nigeria wishes to use this medium to caution the PDP in Plateau State to desist from the unholy enterprise in the interest of peace and tranquility. It, is most, it must be stated that the resort to cheap blackmail and propaganda serves no good and does no augur well for preserving democracy in Nigeria. Ironically, this has been one of the potent weapons of destabilization that political parties and actors employ to destabilize the system when election results do not go their way. The ruling of the Court of Appeal in Plateau State has its merits. Parties unsatisfied with, with it are expected to undertake legal channels to seek redress instead of arrogating to themselves the power to decide right or wrong. The Northern Civil Service Movement of Nigeria is concerned about the nefarious activities of PDP, politicians in political in Plateau State. It admonishes them to give peace a chance by following the proper channels in airing their grievances. The result of blackmail and character assassination serve no good and can potentially bring the judiciary into history. Such positions do not speak well of our politicians and should send a message to the people of the sincerity of heart and purpose of those we call leaders. The Plateau State scenario indicates a desperate attempt by the PDP to turn the people against the true winners of elections, as ruled by the ele election petition tribunal and affirmed by the Court of Appeal. 
The statement on display are needless and must be discontinued. We believe the people of Plateau State are at peace and happy with the choice of leaders who were elected and returned. The PDP must accept this reality and allow peace to reign. The sack of some lawmakers under the banner of the PDP by the Court of Appeal has done in line with the provisions of the law, and the PDP must not cry wolf where none exists. Those returned to office had the mandate of people to represent them. The Court of Appeal confirmed this, and it is the position of the Northern Christian Civil Rights Movement of Nigeria at the PDP to shift its sword and allow peace to reign. The fragility of peace in the plateau is such that all stakeholders must be circumspect in their actions and inactions. The PDP must come to terms with this act with reasonable caution in the weeks and months ahead. Nigeria must rise against attempt by Plateau PDP to blackmail the appeal court justices and judiciary. Thank you for your time and attention. Your name, sir. Right. Tobias Obe. It's clear that the conscious attempt to blackmail the judiciary is the road to anarchy. Because the moment, the moment you undermine the judiciary and take that their moral authority, people will resort to self-help and self-help will be anarchy. And that is a danger to democracy. As our guardians of democracy, we are giving the support to judiciary and also advising those who are to desist because the danger ahead is bigger than their interest or whatever pecuniary, whatever selfish interest they are pursuing. That is the message. Sir, can we ask Your name, sir. My name is Igwe Ude Omanta no, 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 confidence in our nation's in our nation's judiciary, and we are of the firm belief that regardless of what some microscopic few wishes to misrepresent as the opinion of the majority of Nigerians, that on the contrary, majority of us are of the firm belief that still the judiciary of our great nation, Nigeria, have the ability and the capacity to deliver justice without partiality. And we stand fine with uh, their lordships, our justices of our various courts, to the Court of Appeal, up to the Supreme Court, uh, to supporting them to continue to deliver justice. And they should never go to for any fear of intimidation of any kind to deliver uh, judgments that are contrary to the actual demands of justice. That they should never be for us, but they should always be guided by the truth, by what is real, and by what is in tone and tandem and conforms with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.